Hello everyone, welcome to How to Make Firefox, the fastest web browser on the internet, even faster, brought to you by eVideoHow.com. I know I haven't made a video in a while, it's been probably about a month, but I just got back to school, I'm moving into a new place, and I really didn't actually have internet until about a week ago, so, sorry, I've been trying to get to this, just hadn't yet. Alright, so, I'm going to show you how to use Firefox to, or how to make Firefox as fast as it possibly can be. Now, this works with both Firefox 2 and 3, probably 1, but this is 2 that I'm using. I would highly recommend 3. I'm using it for a completely different reason, and it only applies to my computer, because my computer hates me. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Firefox, and in your web address, you're going to type about semicolon config. And the first time you do it, it's going to say something like, this voids the warranty, blah, 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 even though I think it's a joke, because I don't think Firefox actually comes with a warranty, but who knows. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to enable pipelining. So to do that, you are going to type in network try to remember what it was HG dot http you're going to search in the search dot pipelining and then you're going to go to max requests and you can see how mine's already set to 30 well I'm not sure what the default is but I think it's maybe one or two so you can set it 8 is decent but if you have a pretty fast connection, you can set it all the way up to 30. Don't go much higher than 30 because then you can get errors. What pipelining is doing is it's telling Firefox that it can send out more requests for data before it gets a response back. So that'll help you browse faster. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is change the amount of time it refreshes every time that like it receives data. Now it starts out at I think about 0.1, maybe a little more seconds. So you're going to want to change that to higher because otherwise it's going to keep trying to refresh and it's going to waste your data or your basically your internet speed. So what you want to do is you're going to want to type search for content dot notify I spell that wrong hmm. oh sorry my bad I forgot I deleted it so I can show you how to do this. So what you're actually going to do is, in the empty space, you're going to right click, go new integer, and you're going to name it content.notify.interval as your name, and you're going to enter an integer value of 500,000. Now you're also, at the same time, going to right-click, New, Boolean, and do the same thing, except it's going to be content.notify.onTimer, and you're going to set it to true. And so this is just going to make sure that it doesn't refresh quite as quickly. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make Firefox load a little bit faster because currently the default setting is every point seven five after point seven five seconds of not moving the mouse, Firefox enters like an interrupt type mode, which makes the interface a little bit less responsive, but tries to load more quickly. The problem is that reduces the performance slightly. And so what we're going to do 
is you're going to do a new integer. Right click, new integer, and this one's going to be called content dot switch dot threshold and you're going to put in a value of 250,000 press enter alright the last thing that's really really good thing to do is increase the catch size unfortunately this is just going to use up more memory so I would say if you're running Vista and you have two gigs or more, you're running XP, you have maybe one gig or more, then this is a really good idea to do. Once you're going to right click, new integer, and you're going to name this one browser dot cache dot memory dot capacity. If I spelled it right and you're going to turn that value to 65,536. And you don't know anything about binary, you're going to look at that and be like, why the heck would you pick that number? And the answer is, that is the maximum capacity for, I want to say, 16 bits. I really hope that's right. Please don't kill me if I'm wrong. Okay. So, center that, and you're good. So you can exit out of Firefox. Next time you start it, hopefully it'll be a lot faster. Alright, thanks for watching this video, brought to you by eVideoHow.com. Remember to watch this video and all my other videos in high quality. Please visit my website at eVideoHow.com.